Hey, today I'm going to show you some of what we worked out to record audio for our performance capture. Now we had a few options. We have over in the corner uh, an 8 channel zoom that we're using to provide time code to all of our devices. Uh, it also is taking in room audio from these microphones that we have in the center of our volume. And we put that audio out onto our witness camera footage so that we've got a reference video that, that includes room audio. That room audio also gets recorded into Motive along with our takes. Uh, and these, this is pretty helpful too when we have to go and try and figure out what, what happened or what a take was or some details around a shoot event. This setup also has these two wireless lavalier receivers. We didn't go with that. We didn't use those devices because we wanted a slightly more complicated setup where we're putting some effects on our two channels. Uh, pitching one up, pitching the other down. Now, Fraser Hooper, who came, he's a professional street performer who came and performed the garbage bag character. The very first time that he came uh, to try things out, he brought with him this uh, audio device that he uses when he does street performing uh, that does this kind of pitch shifting. And he did this and explained that it helps him create a character, so he wanted to try that. So that was our original motive for doing this, so that he could hear the pitched voice and get more into character. To keep this same kind of potential in the second session, I set all of this up inside of Reaper with some basic pitch shifting. Now for those who don't know, Reaper is a very affordable and very powerful audio recording software. Multi-channel audio, lots of routing capabilities, and takes VSD plugins and is um, controllable uh, by external things. One of the requirements was to record clean audio from the performers while we heard pitch shifted audio in the room. Another requirement was to record this pitch shifted audio in Unreal Engine so that when we played back a take, we could hear the pitched audio. Now all of this is accomplished with uh, this device here, which is a Zoom H6, a six channel interface. Uh, that, we're, that we could record onto, but we're using it as an audio interface into this computer. And it takes the wireless Go receiver, the two channels of audio coming from our performers, uh, and brings that into Reaper. And Reaper then has a couple of channels that's modifying the, the, that audio with some effects, uh, and that's sent back out through the Zoom, and it goes from the line out into our room speakers, and from the headphone out goes into our Unreal Engine computer here. Another great thing about this setup is with this multi-channel recorder, we can bring in other channels of audio, like audio from TikTok. Uh, say we're performing to a song or some other piece of audio, we can bring that in, we can record it on some tracks, we can send it into Unreal Engine as part of the mix. All that's very helpful. So all of this met our minimum requirements for getting some audio recorded in this multi-channel way. Uh, but in our very first go of this, it required Clara to hit record in Reaper. And we also were not recording with timecode, so all of the takes were just layered up and randomly named. Uh, so to fix those things, we did a couple things. First, we fixed the timecode situation. We uh, got some of these tentacle sync devices, which look like this. So we jam sync this to the time code that we're using everywhere, and we plug this right into our Zoom. By sending this in on channel one, here in Reaper, we can now record with time code with this. You tell it what channel you want to bring the audio in here, and so we're currently on channel one, which is this one. And now when I roll or play, it will, it will use that time code. Uh, and you can see that's what we did for this project here. So with time code, our audio is now spaced out and matching our body motions and all of our other data that we're recording. Much easier to find the particular piece of audio. The last piece of the puzzle to make everything nice to have was to be able to roll the take from inside of the switchboard here. And Clara has made us a plugin to do just that. So this plugin now will make Reaper record when we hit this button. In addition to that, we have the ability to give the recorded files the name of the take and also a prefix, which Clara has set up here, so that in the settings, you can choose the number of tracks that you want to record and the names 
uh, some kind of prefix or names uh, of those tracks. And with that, we have pretty much everything we wanted out of recording audio, multi-channel audio for our live performances. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Uh, I sincerely hope this was helpful for someone. I think it'll probably be helpful for me because I'm gonna take this apart at some point and gonna need to put it together again. Thanks for watching. As always, I hope to see you coming back again for the next one.